Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's video I would like to show you a quick way to program real individual drums using the drummer of Logic and then transferring that drums to your favorite drum kit, like in my case the Damage Drum Kit from Heaviosity. So I laid out quickly a track with the scoring guitars and symphonic destruction from Heaviosity, just this. And if I think now about programming drums or putting drums underneath, four ways come to my mind. The first one is simply buying the MIDI pack. I got you. But nah. The second one, program the drums by yourself. How to program epic percussion in 60 seconds. But if you're honest, it takes you way longer than 60 seconds. The third way is already a way which I really appreciate because if you have a cool drum library, like in this case the Damage Drum Kit, there are already hundreds of loops incorporated. In this case they are divided you know, by damage drums and by hybrid drums and by organic drums. So you can easily press a key to fire one of the loops and they are cool. So it could sound like this. But you might say that's not individual enough. So let's fire up the drummer in Logic. If you have never done it, you might be really surprised. So here you click on drummer, you open up even the um, library and then you can choose the drummer himself so we have kyle for the pop rock or logan for the retro rock or anders for the hard rock you can choose even a kit and in this case i would say easily rock hard rock we take anders and um, there we have the kit if you want and this is what logic came up with cool thing now about the drummer is this, you do have here that control where you can say soft or loud, easy or complex. Let's listen. You see that's soft and simple, that's soft but complex. You do have various patterns for the hi-hat for the kick and the snare, for the percussion. This is loud and complex and I would like to end on this. So, another cool thing, whenever you cut the track, then obviously you choose for this bit how you want it. So we start this whole thing easy and smooth. We will have another cut here. So this bit then, we will make it already more complex but still not too heavy and the last one then yes we really go into with really heavy and really complex drums and what's even cool whenever you have a cut then from the bit to the next bit you can choose the fills so listen to this I put the fills on very very easy you nearly couldn't hear it now I put a very complex fill sounds like this Okay, and all this in real time. So here the fill, we make it complex. This fill, we still leave it quite soft. And this is... So these are the drums that Logic came up with with the drummer. So if you don't know that feature, know your tools, know your libraries. And now you can take these and copy them and what Logic does, it creates the MIDI for you. It creates the MIDI for you. So obviously I prepared already the drum kit. Um, I have here, if I remember well, an organic kit, the Juicy Tightness. And then on the second one, 
I went for a damaged drum kit, which is Fire in the Attic. The cool thing is, obviously, as you do have the MIDI data in your piano roll, now you do with those MIDI points whatever you want. Um, let's say we want to add cowbell. Is there a cowbell? No, still there is. Oh, but even this one would be nice, but let's say we want cowbell. If you know the drum kit, it's so easy. You go on source, you go on percussion, you have cowbell or more cowbell. You want it on this note here and then you just take the more cowbell hyped. You drag it onto that note and there is your cowbell. Obviously, always think about if you're not Mike Mangini, then you have only two hands. So don't make things that the drummer might possibly not able to play. But yeah, that's as easy as possible to really program an individual drum track using the drummer in Logic and then placing the MIDI data on the drum kit of your choice. And it sounds like this now. If you want, obviously, um, in the MIDI data, you look where the snare is. And if you here want a little more um, going on, you just draw them in. <laughs> as easy as that. So yeah, I hope this video was useful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please, if you like videos like this, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me, helps me even, you know, to develop always more stuff, making cooler videos. And if you would like to see another video, then I suggest watch my video where I presented the damage drum kit from Heaviosity. Definitely worth it. By the way, there is still this Shure SM58 clone which is quite funny because this um, <laughs> microphone is called PM58 yeah it's not the SM58 but it's called PM58 it's from Rankforce and there is still um, the vote on the community tab if this thing should be placed into the exhaust of my motorbike and then dragged behind the motorbike and then lit up and make it explode or whatever or if I just should give it to someone that might need it. Um, go and vote what we should do with this in the future. That's it for today. Quick and easy and painless. See you in the next video or on the next live stream. Make good music always. Bye-bye.